morning, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing, man. Cap Rodney over there, man. Got a chance to meet him for the first time. Uh, he's putting in God's blessing that he came, drove up, and I came late because he let me use one of his buoys. I left mine at the house. Don't know why I didn't just keep him in the back of the truck. But uh, he's got a young man with him. I don't know his name right away, but uh, he watches my channel. So it's just a good morning already, and regardless of what happened. So let's get in here and try to get on some fish and uh, make it happen real quick. Get back with y'all when I get on the fish, man. Thanks for watching. All the likes, comments, subscriptions, all of that. Get in and put some fish on the boat. Might do a little color changing this morning, I'm not sure. have a whole lot of that green and gold. I think I lost it yesterday. Put another one on though. Got a green and gold with a different type of material. I'll go with that. See if I can make it happen, Captain. right over here to the first spot and get busy. Got a limited window. I got to go to mom's house and go to work, man. My focus ain't been what it should be, but I'm going to try to change that this morning. Take care of my baby. So I actually went in the river yesterday, but Eli was telling me about going in the river. And I did that. Turned out to be not what's happening, not where we were getting the fish last year. So I'm gonna stick with this over here. Or is uh, where I'm going to be targeting the fish. like that. Go right up on that fish. That live scope. Seen him. <laughs> Man, look here. Just all I need to do is do my thing this morning. Look like he ate that thing when I passed it by him. So. <laughs> Ooh, love it when a plan comes together. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a slab first thing in the morning. A slab. It ain't no joke, man. I don't be playing no game. It be for real slabs. That fish are almost 15 in the summertime. Almost 15 in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? That's how I get on, baby. 
Now I got them beating on my chest, and I got to get the rest. And I know they're going to put me to the test. They might not be like him. Good morning, Mr. Crappy. <laughs> 15, right between the eyes. Man, I love it, man. Thank you, Father. Amen to that, man. Great start to a good morning, y'all. See if we can do that again, y'all. And you see Captain Rodney rolling up on me, man. Gave me that buoy this morning. We all good. I hit one, I hit one good one on the pile, and then, you know, of course they did they. Good look, baby. Good look. All right. Captain Rodney, y'all. You don't know, you better check him out, man. Putting people on fish big time. That's what I'm doing here. That's a 116th ounce. Uh, jig head, but that's a color that I had been using earlier in the year and uh, Y'all need to check him out. My partner D phrase on the Houston fishing team Gave me a tip and say go ahead and go back incorporate the plastic. So you see I got that plastic tail With a feather hand tie in that classic red and chartreuse and back in the days if you didn't have black and chartreuse and red and chartreuse when I first started crafting fishing you wasn't catching fish at all period so I'm going to go with that color pattern. And y'all check him out for anything you want to know. Spot lock and electronics. D. Frazier, Houston Fishing Team. Check him out on YouTube. I'll holler at y'all after we get on this next pile and get on the fish. Got out here to this open water brush pile. Hit two small fish here. So this is the third fish of the morning. A little red on him like somebody grabbed me. But uh, I marked it. I'm going to fish it for a few minutes. Changed over to a silver and gold. Real small presentation. Uh, just for a minute here. See. That's a bigger fish, I had to stick him on the tree. All right. I had to go down there and bump on that tree. I had to go bump down on that tree to get that fish to trigger him to come out, but I don't know if he's a keeper anyway. Some of them are on the edge of that brush pile down at the bottom and maybe bigger fish. He don't look worth putting the late night on. 11 inch, 11 inch fish is a keeper bad when 11 inch fish starts looking small to you after catching a hog I guess that's what you don't want no more 11 on a hog but 11's are good eaters too so keepers are keeper so away from the buoy right out over here edge of the brush pile where got some jagged limbs sticking out. I saw those fish up under the limbs, went over there, dropped down past the limb. When I brought it up, I felt the jig hit the limb. As soon as I felt the jig hit the limb, I stopped. Bam. Knowing how to fish, knowing how to present, take, present your bait, all of that stuff is key in catching the fish. You're not going to be able to just drop, drop down to them and they're going to jump on the jig all the time. Sometimes you're going to have to finesse them up out of there. Good thing I heard the other day, I heard that crappie are not line sensitive. I always thought they were, as finicky as they are. But my daddy always said, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Go find out for yourself. I always fish for them with fluorocarbon uh, suffix 
10 pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon hadn't let me down yet Come over the top of it, bump the limb, and get that fish to come out. Look at all that dirt on it. Those fish are hugging that dag gum tree limb, man. And I'm having to really make them bite the dag gum jig. But I went to this small, small silver, uh, close as a shad pattern as you can get. And I got that gold in the tail. That gold seems like it's a ticket. Silver and gold. That's what I was told. Nice fat crappy. Ain't nobody stop me. Number four. So right there at the buoy. Maybe I'll pick up a few fish right there. Right over the top of it. It's sitting my bag clip and go back up there. It's sitting right on it, but you got to bump against it and bring it up above it to trigger them to feed. Hope y'all can hear me all right this morning. See some fish suspending on the other side of that buoy out on the edge of the brush pile. Sometimes it's crappie, most of the time it's catfish. I'm going to go make a drop over there. I got hit and didn't get hooked up. So most of the time that's a catfish, but I'm going to give it another swing just to make sure. Look like it's catfish because it's they don't want to touch it. Maybe not. Yep. Exactly what it is. It's good when you can call fish, man. I know from fishing this lake what's where. So that's a nice blue cat I was able to pick off. On the outside edge of that brush pile, those fish are suspending as well. You never think crappie be, I mean, catfish will be suspending like that. But that's a real good, clean fish, man. Real good eater, right size. Not to be too, too funky. Gotta get him off the hook before he fall in my lap. Stick me. I barely got him in the nose. But being able to read your electronics, man, that's key. Being able to target your fish, all that's key. I'm on the buoy. That's not key. I'm sitting on top of it now. I came off of it. But, uh, I brought it up there and he responded. So In the bag he goes. Good eater. Add that to the quarry. Feed the family, live off the land, best that I can, and follow no man, only God. Pray every day to be a better man today than you were yesterday. That's it. Simple key to life. He said it's easy. Try to do better. Devil gonna get busy every time you do that, though. So be ready.
Thank you, little crappie, for responding, but go get your papa. Or your mama. Big brother, big sister, something. Got it good, man. Sorry about that. I may have to leave these alone and move to another brush pile. Or when they feed them, you want to get some bigger ones off of it. I drop it. I, I drop it way away. When I drop the buoy, I throw it way away from the pile and just use it as a reference. That's why I be calling them dummy buoys. People think that buoy is the pile. It ain't the pile. The one you and Frankie was on. Yeah, I just kept working it. I went around on the back side of it, right on that edge like you were talking about, where I usually get them. Yeah, that. That's where I got them from last time. That's where I've been getting them. That's what I was telling you. Remember I told you I would approach it? Well, you ain't listening, man. So that's what I was telling you. I approach it. I bring it up to it. Right. Right. That's why I bring it up to it. And then as soon as I see him respond to it, I act like I want to leave. Right. Over the top of the brush pile, y'all. Make sure. Yep, 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Eight fish. And I ain't even done yet. Don't give up on the pile just yet. I just got hung up on a limb trying to set the hook on a fish that was right up under the limb. I seen him looking at it. I thought he had hit it. Felt like to me he hit it, but it might have been that limb. I might have pulled up on that limb. work to get that fish y'all you see I had to I had to bring that jig right in there where that fish was at on the edge of that brush pile but that's just you saw me doing all of that doing all of this here I was the jig came into the pile and I felt it get close touch off and I saw the fish so I backed away from the pile and he came out and hit it good clean hook set but uh that's how you're having to finesse these fish out of this pile, man. You know, a good responding fish. Show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and pull the buoy and try another pile. I say that, but hard to leave a pile that's producing fish. You might get a good one out of here. Like I told y'all, I didn't want to give up on it, man. Uh, they're all over this pile. Throw that one back to get a good solid fish. Look at that hook set, man. Silver and gold, that's what I was told. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a slab. Again, good solid fish. Man. small tree right over here, about three or four of them on it. Try to work it here. Number nine, right on time. Yeah, 
little color change today. Same profile, same weight of jig head. I took out multiple colors today, said I might do a little changing, but I went with this smaller silver and gold and they are eating it up, so. I went back to uh, Bass Pro Shops and I couldn't find that golden bearded pheasant or whatever that I had, rooster. So I'm gonna have to try to find that thing. Let's see if right there, let's see if I can get another one. Just like that. I see them right there, drop right back down, they're responding. I mean, <laughs> what more can you ask for? They're sitting on a tree off by themselves. So, probably short. Never miss fish look small to me, but. Keeper's a keeper today. Gotta make a short work of this and head to mom. Turn this kayak around and bring it right back over there. I saw a pretty big fish off away from the tree just a little bit. And hope it's not a catfish. So maybe target bigger images. Just, you know, it's a lot this live scope helps you out with, man. like he was a big boy. Thank you for the fight. On that note, I think I will move around. Go try this brush pile I don't like. I may skip it and go to the other one. Thank you, Captain Rodney. This boy came in handy. Now I owe you one. I got two brand new ones on the wall in the garage. So Captain Rodney just holler at me. I got you a brand new buoy anytime you say. locate where I was at right away with my buoy sitting out there. That's my own technique. It may not work for you, but just uh, know that it helped. Now I'm right back at the brush pile. somebody's home because somebody was home just a while ago. My goodness. He smashed that dude. Thank you, Tim. I think I got 10. Yeah, you did good. <laughs> I'm, I'm 
Okay. Smaller, ten and a half. A little over ten and a half. Hey. Look fat, but the better fish wanted me to jig him up out of there. I threw that ten and a quarter back, and now I got. I wasn't going nowhere with that weed guard. Ripping lips. Two back at ten and a quarter, got an eleven and a half. Better fish. They didn't hit it initially. I had to hit a limb and jig it around on that brush pile, and then I finally jumped on it. <laughs> Time to go. Got a little joke from Kokomo. It's time to go. Got no business getting a hard hit of hand tie, little fella. Hard hit of hand tie is supposed to catch big fish. Get the little ones away. <laughs> man, man, man. I done lost count on the fish. So I'll just keep catching. Hard to move from this spot. Still bite. Might leave them biting. Might get a better fish somewhere else. Hard to do though. Out here walking, I can move a maneuver around this whole brush pile. Just throw my buoy over there, and then I can work this whole brush pile. That's why I like to fish a brush, brush pile by myself, so I'm able to just methodically work it and, you know, do my thing. Chicken wing. I can't do my thing if somebody else got a chicken wing around my thing. I didn't bring any lunch or snacks because I wanted to make sure I make myself leave so I can go back and get to work at mom's house. The camera lens was dirty all day. Open up. But uh, I hadn't counted the fish. I count them when I get to the dock. Caught a ton of small fish. Caught quite a few nice keepers. I should have 10 or, or more fish. So, uh, All in all, a good morning. Got on one real good pile and another real good pile after that. 
caught one great fish first thing this morning, about a 15 inch crappie. So, uh, fantastic day for summertime crappie fishing. I started around 7 and I quit around 11. So, 7 11. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the likes, subscriptions, comments. It's hot, man. And I'm on my way back in. Running on water this morning. But I ate late last night, so I'm good. But anyway, appreciate it, man. And remember to always stay hooked up. That's what the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hooked up fishing, we out. Let's see if we can get a quick tally here, guys. But, uh, that's that counting. I wasn't worried about counting. I just thought, throwing them in the box. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I just kept fifteen and quit it half a day. Probably put a lemon in there. But that's all I wanted. It was a good day catching them, seeing that my jigs are working and everything like that. Get over to mom's house and go back to work on it. Trying to get it cleared out and cleaned up. So 15 and two cats. Just like that. Hooked up fishing bag. Slabs on deck again. My friends. They got out in time enough to beat the heat. I want to know what Captain be doing. He's out here, and I know I know everybody looking for this fish. But guess where she at? <laughs> oh, Captain Rodney caught him. I'm talking about Easy Five. Oh, 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 where I caught him at? Right. Uh, but, uh, I told. We uh, we and they in here, up, man. We get yeah, oh, they are, they are. They though. got some big old bass in there. People been fishing all year for these. See right what there. I done figured out? I went all the way past 2100 one day. Kept on going. Yeah. And I was watching my live scope, and what I noticed is. The bigger population of gar and big yeah. bass are back there. That's, that's so the crappie ain't going back there. He not on top of the food we chain. Caught a, we caught a couple of, um, well, we ain't got no big ones, but you know what I'm saying? I hear, we got a couple of these right, right. here back there. Right here, you can get them back there. Yeah, they, yeah, There's so many small time. fish back, back that way, like, man. My, for all y'all bass fishing, y'all been fishing these all year. And old Captain Rodney come down to the bayou and pull one. I'm talking up. about quick. Yeah, Look at that mouth on the bucket mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but if y'all want to come catch uh, gator trout like this, give me a call. Daddy Thayer Fishing Charters, man. That's where I'm going. <laughs> See, I've been messing with Pope Chop. I got to get on it. You know, I got to get out, out there hey, with hey, you. Hey, you seen the, the, the picture I had with SK on there? The, the, um, the post. I, I, man, I took him out there in the early part of the year. Man, don't try. Don't try blue his mind. We had fun, though. We, See we that? had See fun. That? See, yeah. what, what took me away from him, uh, I got the po I got the pictures on the Polaroid. Yeah. I got a 31 and several 28s, yeah. so I quit. Man, I got some, I'm going to tell you, the old man brother where I bought my ranch from, old school preacher, man. Man, I got a picture of him. I'm scared to post it because I don't want to. Like, man, he got some trout, man, back in the, you know, back in right, the Right, right, right. Huh? 